um, you're currently on your tour at the moment promoting the new album. How's that going? It's going really well. We've lots of festivals coming up now over the summer. Um, beautiful days down in Devon and Shrewsbury Folk Festival and a few more. And then we're going to Sweden and Germany yes. and then another UK tour in the autumn. Yep. I think I'm making plans to see you in Sweden because I've got family over there. Yes, so definitely. Um, and how has it been uh, the tour as well for you? Oh, lovely. Oh, it's great to play with these people. You know, it's just good fun. Oh, it was lovely playing today at the concert big audience and got the love from them yeah, that was yeah. great it's been a fantastic vibe um have you guys played the folk festival to before the cambridge folk festival mm. i played here about four years ago in the club tent and uh and now i'm back four years later on the main stage that's quite quite a feat um now you've kind of been sort of really heavily into the music industry over the last decade would you say I guess so i've been how have you kind of seen the changes? Because I would say in that last 10 years has been the most significant changes, um, what with um, social media and everything else. Have you seen positive changes and negative? In, in what aspect? In the music industry. So, you know, obviously people are able to self-promote a lot more these days. Um, but with that, obviously you can do it alone. And yeah. Well, I guess with, for me anyway, um, with this music, we sell most of our records on the on the road you know and I know with downloads and people you know it affects a lot of artists mm -hmm. and um, with the legal downloads and everything but it hasn't to be honest really affected us that much because we sell our records on the road and it's so hard for us to get our records in shops anyway you know the folk section in, in HMV or, or, we're, yes. or wherever not HMV anymore is so small anyway so we sell all our records on the road anyway we don't sell we never sold loads in record shops right. you know but you can buy your CD over in the main yes. merch shop. So we've got, if you guys are um, coming to the festival, um, maybe if you're even streaming this online today or tomorrow, um, actually Heidi's got the huge banner outside. Oh yes, you've got a massive banner outside. The, it's not the only one um, outside the merch shop, which is really, really nice. Um, we all think you look like Charlize Theron in it. Oh wow. So there you go. But it's a compliment. Oh, um, hang on. L leave it with me. I'll come up with some good references. Brad Pitt and... Uh, Jane Fonda. <laughs> no, Jane Fonda. <laughs> George Clooney I was going for, actually. Um, so how was, uh, how was writing the album? Uh, oh, it was a good laugh. We, got, uh, we, did, we spent a uh, long time working on it, didn't we? That, last, that year was like quite a few times of you and John writing stuff with all different people, and then I was getting involved there and... Uh, Ah, it was a great process and then recording the record was the biggest laugh in the world wasn't it that week we had in the studio there with the, with the band it was like total rocking week so yeah it's been great and it shows on the record you can hear it on the record that we were having a good time doing it huh? we, tried to, we tried to record it as live so we'd like seven booths but we could all see each other and we tried to sort of keep performances rather than everyone do their, their yeah. parts separately so um, I think you can hear it and you can hear Ian breathing on one of the tracks and you can hear somebody's foot stamping but we didn't it was a good that was the best take so we just left it in and yeah. it kind of sounds a bit more organic for it and I think I was going to say it's less um, it's, it's nicer to record things live especially with folk music as well because it's such a such a community and such a vibe to it um, and I, it's just a really nice idea to, uh, you know, to hear that kind of organic sound and not so heavily produced and, you know, melody and everything else that you can tweak with. Not that you need it. I mean, your voice is beautiful. Um, so the rest of the this year is going to be tour and promoting the album. And you've had major critical acclaim for this album and you've won numerous awards and toured all over the place. What is what is next for um, Heidi Talbot? Um, well, next the next project we're working on is um, a new record with Tim O'Brien, um, brilliant singer and songwriter from um, West Virginia, um, based in Nashville. So he's coming over to Scotland in the autumn, and uh, he's going to start writing his album. So we're we're meeting him in the Highlands and going to try and write some songs in the Highlands for his new record and and uh, and record that then next year. Wow. All going well. Wow. Yeah. Whereabouts in the Highlands? Can I ask? Um, I can't actually pronounce it. I know it's near. Uh, it's near Fort William, ah. but I don't. It's just that's where I'm from. Oh, I'm near Fort William, so I was just a uh, you know dropping, <laughs> make a make a quick cuppa. No, don't worry, I won't I won't bomb it. Um, and so uh, with this album, um, it's kind of uh, with such critical acclaim. Do you feel the pressure to kind of live up to another one or whatever, or are you just really free and you're like, do you know what, we'll just do what we want, and uh, if people like it, then we're doing we're doing well. Yeah, I think it just it's it's a funny thing the reviews you you don't 
ever want to make a record to get good reviews but it's always when somebody likes it or when you start to get good reviews it's great and it helps you hope that it'll it'll maybe sway some people to buy it you know it all helps but at the end of the day i don't know you know it doesn't it doesn't really matter it does help though you know yeah no so, absolutely yeah, yeah. I, I, I can see what you mean. Um, Heidi, it's been lovely talking to you. Um, Andy and Ian, pleasure as well. Um, have a fantastic uh, sort of day tomorrow. Um, I will be there watching you. Whether hook or by crook, I will be there watching you. And um, and we're also seeing you in Sweden as well. So, guys, you can check out. It's HeidiTalbot.com, isn't it? Yeah, um, HeidiTalbot.com, where you can buy sort of the album, follow all the tour dates, um, and just kind of check them out. You can check, There'll be some videos on YouTube. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, check it out, guys. Um, and if you're here tomorrow, it's 1 p.m.